Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Mode, Power Armor Only. This is a challenge run, with episodes coming every Friday and Sunday, where I'm attempting to beat the main quest, story, whatever it is, of Fallout 4 on Survival Mode and ridiculously challenging difficulty, while only using Power Armor. I'm not using any weapons or armor that are not Power Armor. My power armor is my weapon, it is my armor, it's my everything. Why don't you understand? And here it is! Oh, it doesn't look good. Yeah, we're gonna need an upgrade. So in fact, I think the very first thing I'm going to do this episode is see just how much I can upgrade this suit of power armor. Because there's not a lot we can do right now, but there's a little bit we can do. So I'm going to take it over to my power armor station, which I've moved closer to the entrance slash exit of this settlement, which is Sanctuary. And I'm just going to see if there's any like small changes I can do which aren't particularly costly. Because I don't have a ton of equipment. Oh, I'm real low on the circuitry, aren't I? And the adhesive isn't great. Like... 20 extra to each of those is pretty good, to be honest, and a decent bit of extra health. But I'm really wondering if there's anything which will be even better, or if I just hold out for a little bit. Because, yeah, it's not like each of these is just an extra 20 on its own. Getting an additional rank would be a lot better. But it is going to mean science and armor. So the earliest I could get Model C on anything would be in two more level ups, because I need at least two perk points. But science and armor are our priorities. And it would save me junk in the long haul. It really would. What does the other stuff? Is it all. Yeah, if it's all going to be adhesive and circuitry that I'm needing. Oh, and nuclear material, so I couldn't even upgrade that piece. Oh yeah, nuclear material is going to be a problem. Man, this is somewhat annoying. Yeah, I could get improved energy resistance. Once again, a fair bit of adhesive there. Nothing on the miscellaneous. Oh wow, I really... I don't have much going on here, do I? Yeah, I need... I need armor, and I need science, and I need more junk. So, I don't think we're doing any upgrades just yet. We'll be going with the standard T45 for a little bit. Uh, between episodes, and if you haven't already seen the last episode, there'll be a playlist already made. It'll hopefully be linked somewhere. It's the most recent upload on the channel when this video is uploaded. Go watch episode 1 now, you can see how I obtained this power armor, which was me being very sneaky, and honestly, I was scheduling like the first episode as purely being me getting the power armor. I had multiple different suits to go to. I had two different primary suits I could go to. It, it was so much easier, or not easier, but just happened to go so much so well on the first time, I was shocked. But yeah, the last episode was getting the power armor and scrapping Sanctuary. Now we need fusion cores, because I have exactly one fusion core which is at 85% charge. I'm going to need more, because they are what keep Power Armor running. Now, there is a guaranteed one in Concord at the Museum of Freedom. There's one there for certain. However, I'm pretty sure it's one at half charge, and it involves me killing, I don't know, like 20 raiders and a Deathclaw. Like, it's a challenging one for a pretty bad fusion core. Apart from that, oh man, I really don't know. Honestly, I'm not certain. Like, they're in fusion generators, like, scattered around the map. Those are guaranteed places. And also, uh, in ammo boxes, you sometimes find fusion cores. But really? I'm just not too sure. I think one of my best bets is going to be from merchants. So what I'm going to do is look... At my weapons and armor, which I can't use, but what I can do with them is sell them. And it seems, yeah, throwables are going to be my best bet for good weight to value ratio. In Skyrim, I always went with like a factor of 10, so 10 times the weight equals the value is okay for selling. With Fallout, I'm really not too certain. I don't generally think about it all that much, honestly. But what I am going to do is pick up the explosives. And I'll have these as something to sell while I'm out and about. I'm also going to check if... Clean grey suit, that's not bad. Um, just 
to see if there's anything here I particularly want to sell. Nothing huge high on the value. We'll also check with ammo because ammo weighs practically nothing and always sells for at least a cap. So I'm going to take all of the ammo. Uh, I'll even take the shotgun shells, although 10 of them does weigh a piece, so this is going to pop me up to... Oh, 24. Yeah. But I'll sell all of them. I'm picking them up just to sell. I won't be using them because I'll be using the power armor to punch things. And one final order of business before we head out. I am hungry. So I am going to eat uh, probably some cram. But I want to see, yeah, yum yum deviled eggs. I'll eat those first. Then I'll eat a cram. Better but still peckish. Uh, let's eat one more cram. Perfect. Properly fed. I have taken some radiation damage, which is the downside of eating that food. But it's not a ton of it. It's still a bit, though. It does reduce my max health. In fact, what is my health at now? Yeah, I'm losing two points of health from my radiation, which is a pain. But look, I have 560 damage resist, 370 energy resist, and over a thousand radiation resist, and I deal 21 damage a hit. That is, like, for the start of the game, that's actually really good. But when you consider how badly I need fusion cores and how easy it is for me to just run out of them, it's... It's not as good as I'd like it to be. First on my locations of where to head to is this big Concord water tower thing. Wait, did I see an enemy behind that? I did, there's a bloatfly. Okay, we're straight into combat. Come on, come here, Mr. Bloatfly. Perfect. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I'm gonna just move side to side to try and... Oh, perfect, avoid getting hit. It's almost got me up another level, and I'm hidden. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, here there are a few bottles of purified water. Lovely. And a first aid pack. Stim pack. Yeah, blood pack. Not too bad. Alright, additionally, there's the farm over there, which I do want to visit. And this lovely chest, which has, hey, bottle caps. And I'll take the ammo to sell. The other stuff I'm going to leave. Not a particularly great weight to value ratio. So I can leave it behind for now. Yeah, over at this farm here is a bunch of tato and melon, I believe, in the back, which I'm going to take and plant in Sanctuary, because it will be very helpful for me to have. Um, hmm. It sounds a bit odd, but I'm honestly half thinking about leaving my power armor alone here for just a minute, because I don't think I'm going to be attacked while I'm there. No, I'm not going to do it. Sometimes to save just a tiny bit of fusion core, I will leave my power armor behind. But in this instance, I think I'm going to keep it on. Because I have occasionally seen like super mutants running around the back there. And one stray bullet could kill me outside of the power armor. And take me back to my last save, which is when I last slept. Which wouldn't be great. New here? Well, if you've got right. anything worth so instead, I'm just going to take all of their tato. Because it'll be good to have it planted. Uh, they do have a quest for me as well, which I probably should pick up. In fact, I know the area they take me to will have one fusion core, I believe, guaranteed, and maybe even more. So it's probably a quest I should do at some point, but it is also an area with a ton of raiders, so, you know, not perfect. Harvested the melons. Oh, I have got a bit thirsty, but I've just noticed they have a water pump. Can I use it while in power armor? It says no, but there's the distinctive sound of it working. Okay, it fully works, it just doesn't do the animation. That's good to know. And while I'm here, let's pick up that quest. Hey. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. It's okay. I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned, we're armed here. So don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day? And every minute of it, spent watching your back. Farming's hard work. Won't argue with that. Blake Abernathy, you new to the Commonwealth? Yes. And no. It's a long story. Either way, good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about work in the land? Don't know. Never really thought about it. Hell, neither did I. I was born into it. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm... Be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? 
Sounds like bad news to me. You really are new to these parts. Best armed bastards in the Commonwealth. You have something they want, they won't hesitate to take it. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. There's nothing worse than losing a child. Believe me, I know. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Don't worry. I'll get that locket back for you. Good. Connie feels like it's a part of Mary. I don't think she'll rest easy again as long as it's gone. Alright, so picked up the quest. It was nice and easy to do. Take some more water before I go. Uh, because what I also want to do is head to this little area here. I... oh, a bunch of bloatflies down there. Good to know. I don't know if there's a fusion core in here, but I know there's some loot. There's a handful of ghouls as well. But honestly, in my big power armor, I think I can handle whatever's going to come and attack me here. Uh, including you, buddy. Oh, you crawl out the other way. That's genuinely quite annoying. Yeah. We're going to see now just how powerful my power armor is. Because, yeah. 100% can take hits from ghouls. Like, outside of power armor, I probably would have just died then. But that was about 10% of my health taking a few hits from a ghoul. That is very, very good to see. Like, the early game isn't actually going to be all that bad. Okay, you're dead. Perfect. Alrighty, recording software crashed there. Hopefully everything's in sync again, but we'll see. Uh, something else worthy of noting in this room is there's a power armor station here. Now, in terms of settlements, Sanctuary and Red Rocket have power armor stations. So they're going to be like the main two places where I can mod my armor. Other than that though, I'm just going to kind of be repairing and doing patches to my armor whenever across the map I come across one of these stations. It's going to be limited, it's also going to be really weird when I go over it apparently, but I'm just going to kind of have to work with it. It's not something I've really... Stop doing that! It's not really something I've had to work with before, as I rarely pa play a power armor character in survival mode. I tend to go down the uh, sniper route, but I've done it this time, and I'm going to have to live with that decision. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Also hear a radio in the background. Which hopefully isn't playing copyrighted music, but probably Sweet. is. So, <laughs> let's see how dealing with that goes. Uh, yeah, take the shotgun shells as well. Take the bottle caps. You got mute fruit on you. Perfect. Thank you very much. And I'm gonna head. Is it in here? Yeah, the radio's in here. Let's turn that off as a priority. Because I would like this video not to get demonetized or. Uh, what's it called? Copyright claimed, copyright claimed, yeah. Because there was like five seconds of a song which someone else owns. That's always fun. Yes. Right, Grognak the Barbarian. We got one of these last time, but yeah, got another issue. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus 5% damage. We're now up to plus 10% damage on critical hits with our attacks, which is genuinely lovely to have. And also a bunch of good junk. Yeah, this is... This has been a good area to loot so far. There are a few more ghouls, but I'm not too concerned about them, to be honest with you. Like, look, I'm still at over 80% health. I've got... Ah, fusion cells. Every time I see an ammo box, I'm going to be just hoping for fusion cores. Because if we can get, like, a bunch of fusion cores from an ammo box, we'll be fine for a while. But if we don't get lucky with them, well... It's going to be a challenge, let's be honest. It's going to be a real challenge. But hey, that is the point of a challenge run. <laughs> Alright, um... You alive? No, you're not alive. Which is good, because you're a reaver. You're... Oh, you're alive and you're a roamer. How much... Oh, you do quite a bit of damage! Oh, dang! Alright, that hurt a lot. That was more than I was expecting. I think I might actually eat something for that. What 
5 HP? Is, have I got anything which gives me a good amount? A blood pack? Does a blood pack give you diseases? I feel like it could do. Uh, crown gives a decent amount. You know, iguana on a stick, 40 HP, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm probably going to go with the iguana. Purified water's nice, but I kind of want to keep that for when I'm thirsty. Yeah, let's eat that iguana on a stick. There we go, that'll give me 40 hit points over time. Heal me back up almost to the top. Should feel good. Oh man. After being so confident against these ghouls, I'm a bit annoyed that one of them did actually deal significant damage to me. Uh, this, this is at a point where it's supposed to be somewhat on the easier side. It's when I start dealing with enemies with guns that I'm supposed to be scared. These melee lots should be simple for me to take out. Oh, this is... this is a bad sign. This is a bad sign early on. Okay. Well, despite it, um, I should be able to... Yeah, get through the rest of this without too much issue. Yep, this is just the door back to outside. We've got perfect more junk that's useful. Let's head to the upstairs... Upstairs bit. I'm not sure how much of a fusion core charge each jump costs me, but I'm scared it's more than I want. There is another ammo box over there. So I'm gonna get that. And also take I'm taking literally all the junk. Not needing weapons and armor means that I should have a decent bit of carry weight combined with um yeah, having the power armor giving me a ton more carry weight. This should mean I can really just, you know, pick up as much junk as I fancy. For a while, anyway. Uh, 0.38. I'm not going to pick up literally everything, like both brooms. I know they're heavy and not particularly great. But most of the stuff I should be able to handle taking. There's also a bag over there, which I believe has just a hole. Uh, you won't go down, will you? Can I climb up this way? There we go. A bag of pre-war money? Yep, a bunch of pre-war money. Alright, well, that's this area looted. Um, do I want to cross the bridge? I don't think I do. This was enough of the detour. I'm just going to head back to Sanctuary, store away all of the junk, and then do a bit of planting. Back at Sanctuary, I've just drunk from the sink like a civilised human being. I'm about to plant a bunch of stuff at my farm. For those wondering, I've deposit deposited, that's difficult for me to say, my power armour just over there. And the plan is just plant my farm with a bunch of uh, melons. First, put all of these down. And I also have uh, a mute fruit. One entire mute fruit. How luxurious. And 28 tatoes. So I'm just going to plant all of these. I'm going to cut that bit out because it's going to be very boring. But yeah, I'm going to plant these and then tell you the actual plan I've got in store. Food all planted, and now the plan is to head south. Primarily, I'd like to head towards the Diamond City area. However, the issue is, you can't save the game. My last save is from the very start of this episode when I slept. Now what I could do is sleep for an hour, and that way I'll land a save here. That'll be good. That'll ensure our progress. You know what? I don't think I've got any or much adrenaline. I've only got one rank of adrenaline. I'm gonna sleep for an hour. It could impact our tiredness, but it's gonna be good to have. So an hour's sleep does mean I'm sleeping till 6pm and we'll be travelling at night rather than day, but that just dropped me a save. Alright, I feel a bit safer now. I'm not gonna lose. Jeez, nearly half an hour's progress. This is taking me longer than I thought. But ayo, it's all good. Yeah, now the plan is head towards the Diamond City area. Because there's plenty of stuff for me to be doing there. Uh, main two things will be the Intelligence Bobblehead and Merchants, who I can sell stuff to and hopefully buy additional Fusion Cores. Because boy oh boy do I need more Fusion Cores. We're at less than 75% charge on this one. And any time I want to sprint or use VATs, or just do anything that requires action points, it's going to cost me. Also, yes, I have leveled up, haven't I? Uh, the game really wants to tell me about that. I don't know what I'm going to level into first, though. 
I might wait so I can get Science and Armourer, because those two combined will mean I can improve my power armor significantly. But I'll, I'll mull that over for a little bit. I'm unlikely to spend the perk point this episode, to be honest with you. Inside one of the first houses you come to in Concord is Nutricola Quantum, which is just a crazy strong healing item. So I'm doing a quick detour just to stop off here. It's literally this house by the Red Rocket, which is nice. Uh, when I go through Concord, just like in the first episode, I'm going to be trying to avoid uh, the raiders there because there is a strong chance that they can just absolutely wreck me. I... They don't need to be strong, they just need to have a lot of them, or have guns, and I'm basically done for. Because while my damage resistance and energy resistance is really high for this part of the game, my mobility is a fair bit lowered, I'll take that coffee pot, uh, and my damage is not great. Not because the actual damage itself isn't decent. Like, 21 damage at this point in the game is solid, really quite solid, but because it's in terms of unarmed, my swing speed is not super fast, which means not great DPS, and I need to get real up close to actually hit anyone. I'll take the soap as well, because that's free oil. Um, how close do I want to get? So there's a chance Preston has actually killed all of them at this point, because we did leave him to fight them for quite a while. I don't see him doing anything. This is one of those points where I wish I could quick save. I don't see any raiders. Pre oh, I could get a huge XP dump. Nope, there's raiders. Alright, if Preston had killed them all, I'd have got a huge XP dump there. But I think what I'm going to do is back away slowly. Because I can, I can live without that for now. We'll be coming back this way eventually. Yeah, I, I really, really don't need all the aggro of dealing with that right now. I'm fine without it, thank you very much. Uh, let's just check... Wait, weight zero? Oh, it... Is it not telling me the weight because you've got them equipped? Doesn't matter, none of those pieces are particularly valuable. I'm going to be checking up quite often, often on weapons and armour just to see if they've got, like, a strong value to them. Because if they have, I'll pick them up and sell them. If not, I'm going to leave them behind. <gasps> And we have everyone's favourite merchant, Trashcan Carla. Oh, I love you so much, Carla. You're just great. Let's stop and have a quick chat with you, eh? Excuse me. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Just looking for love, sweetheart. <laughs> Girl, have you come to the wrong place? My loving days have long since passed. But I'll tell you what, beautiful. You made an old girl smile, and that ain't easy. You want to do some trading? I'll uh, give you a discount. Hey, there we go, and now we get a discount with sure. Trash Can Carla. Let's take Perfect. A look. Here's what I got. And what do you have? You, oh, you don't have any fusion calls. Well, I mean, she's got eight items. It still might be useful to get the odd thing off of her. Purified water isn't crazy expensive. Standard chems are. Food is not too bad. Bobby pins cost a little, little bit. Junk? Not that expensive. Sometimes expensive. Let's just see. The lead, I'm going to need a bit of. Crystal. Crystal's useful for building up settlements. I'm not sure how badly I'm going to need it overall. Man, this is... This is a bit of a tricky one. Although... Okay, hot plate, circuitry, and copper, and even a screw with pretty cheap value. I'm going to buy some of that. Rubber, oh, I can live without. You give me lead for only free value, that's not bad, but I can get more lead. Uh, but you don't weigh anything. You know what, I'll buy that as well. Two rubber, sure. Copper's a bit expensive. Shipments are crazy expensive, so I pretty much never buy them. But they're still good to keep an eye on. Uh, free aluminum for only five cost. That's not bad either. You know what? The telephones aren't too bad. All right, I'll get those, and I'm gonna sell her just whatever ammo and weapons I possibly can, because I don't need them. May as well just sell them. Get a bit of cash back, you know. Look at that. Straight away earning some cash. Perfect. Get 249 caps. More than doubling. More than doubling what we had. That's not bad at all. 
I'm pretty sure there's, yeah, some chems and stuff up there. So I'm also going to head up to this sign and get a few resources. Look at this, lovely, lovely, lovely. Stimpak purified water, perfect. Ah, 0.38 rounds. One day. Well, oh no, no raiders, don't pop out. This is what I was worried about. Okay, the raiders are going after Carla. I'm gonna hide at the back here. Oh! That's a rad scorp- that's a rad sc oh, that's a rad scorpion. <laughs> Why is, why is there a red scorpion right there? I was scared of the raiders, and I was going to drop off this side to be safe, but now there is a red scorpion over there. It's not... We're only like... I swear we're level 3, right? We're level 3. Level 3. And yet there's a red scorpion just chilling about. No, don't come back this way. Alright, I'm just gonna hide here for a while. Hopefully Carla will kill the raiders and we'll be able to loot them. And the rad scorpion will spontaneously combust. I genuinely think that might be my best hope right now. Oh, it's, it's about to see me. Has it spotted me? Can it get up here? It's, it's literally just walking past. Oh, what? Is it? Is it? Is it? It's leaving? Yeah, I'm gonna cower here for a while, if you all don't mind. So the red scorpion is literally just walking down the road there. Oh, don't, no, don't turn back this way. I was so happy for a second. Oh no, it's turning back that way. Oh, come on. Come on, just turn to your left. At this distance, you can't even see its legs moving, so it's just kind of floating around. All right, I'm gonna leave it a couple more minutes. Just to make sure it gets some real distance away, because a red scorpion will just kill us in, like, seconds. It's not going to be fun to fight. Uh, and hopefully when it does fully leave this area, I'll be able to loot the raiders over there, which Carla killed with ease. With ease, I say. Oh, please don't be coming back. Oh, alright, more hiding. More hiding, I guess. I am now playing Fallout 4 as a flat-out stealth game. I've worked out the exact path that Rad Scorpion goes to, and once it goes past that puddle, yep, there it goes. I'm dropping down here, should be far enough away, and don't get stuck behind a railing, don't get stuck behind a railing. And I'm gonna loop up this way towards Drumlin Diner, because the Rad Scorpion will go up there, then back down, and follow this path around, and I need to be far enough away that it does not notice me. We had Seeing as it's not triggered, yeah, Trudy at Drumlin Diner, I figure I over here will be fine. You know and let's see if I can pass boy. the charisma checks square, over here. Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, Come. Whoa, easy there, Miss Power Armor. This doesn't involve you. Hey, you've been noticed I'm in Power Armor. Uh, I, I don't want to get too close. Uh, yeah, yeah, what's going on here? Can I help? Looks like you got some trouble. I could help. Help? What are you, some kind of hired gun? Or maybe you can talk some sense into Trudy over there. Uh, let's... I'm not going to worry about the charisma checks just because I don't want to risk fighting anyone right now. I'll just talk to Trudy, okay? I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways... We'll back you up. So fingers crossed here, I can just resolve this peacefully. But what I kind of want to do first is just see if I can barter. Because if hey I can there. barter with Trudy, that'd be great. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Uh, oh, man, seriously. Okay, I was hoping I could just barter, but maybe we can end peacefully? Look, you owe them money. If you just pay them, then this will be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. I got a better idea. You take care of Wolfgang. I'll pay you a hundred caps to put a bullet between his eyes. This is... so annoying. What happens if I say, why should I? And why should I help you? Look, this place might not look it, but caravans come through here, okay? I have supplies. You help me, we can trade for whatever you need. <sighs> I'm scared that if I hit no, she'll attack me, but I'm more scared that if I hit yes, Wolfgang will attack me. 
Um, I'm gonna try yes. This could all go so badly. All right, Trudy. I'll get rid of him. Thank you. I'll back you up from here. Go get him. Please don't be combat. Please don't be- Oh, it's combat. It's combat. Okay, they aren't attacking me yet. Okay, we gotta kill him. I'm so not happy about this. Oh, you deal a decent bit of damage, don't you? Oh man, you deal quite a bit of damage. Alright, I've just taken a stim pack. You'll see my health is going up slowly over time. However, taking that stim pack did make me thirsty. So, did I hotkey purified water? I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna hotkey purified water as nine. And I'll take two of them. That'll add to my healing. And also... Yeah, I can't deal with Trudy dying. I also don't want to get close to the Red Scorpion, which I saw go back that way, so I'm scared of- Oh, perfect! Oh, there's the Red Scorpion. Don't come close to Red Scorpion. <laughs> Alright, Wolfgang's dead. That Red Scorpion is way too close for comfort. Trudy, don't come closer. Oh, please, Red Scorpion, just go away. Alright, take these things. What's the value on this stuff? Not great. None of it's great, honestly. But I could pick it up and just sell it straight away to Trudy. Oh, and Razor Grain. Razor Grain's actually good. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take all of this stuff and see if I can just sell it to Trudy straight away. Rad Scorpion should have gone. Let's get a bit of money from her. Like, it would have been nice to have Wolfgang as well. Ending it peacefully would have been lovely because that would have been two merchants. But I'm hoping Trudy sells Excuse Fusion Calls and this is all worth it. I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade... My shop's open. Appreciate it. And order up is complete, which should get me... Yeah, another level up. Man, having high intelligence is really paying off. I've got a few minutes to browse. All salvaged. But nothing's junk. But junk is useful to me. Alright, and ammo... Ugh, she doesn't sell fusion cores. I think what most people like her for is either General Chow's Revenge, which is some bonus damage against robots, although honestly not that great, or she always sells, like, yeah, a suppressed bolt action, which can give you a suppressor really early on. But I can't use either of those, so I'm just going to check through the junk, buy whatever I can, and obviously sell her the weapons and armor that I picked up, which will, in total, what will that get me? Uh, 36 caps, that's not bad. Alrighty, a little bit of junk, and a whole bunch of ammo, and I'm up, I'm up to almost a grand. That's not terrible, you know. That's really not terrible. It's not an ideal situation. Would have loved for there to have been some fusion cores added in. Wonder if that military checkpoint would have, or military hub would have any fusion cores. Uh, not going to be any up there. There are some Nuka Colas in here generally, including yeah, Quantum. And I'll take the bottle. I thought I heard skittering again. Oh, I'm so... Oh, does that bring me closer to... Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to go to that... How am I going to go to that checkpoint? I'm scared that... I'm scared that that checkpoint is... No, that was the road. That was the road? Yeah, that must be the road... That they were on? That... Ah. Uh... Okay, there's a bug over there. I've got to be careful about which road it is that it was going up, was it? <sighs> da -da -da -da. No, it must be the close road? Which is off over there? Which means if I'm exactly... Oh yeah, I can't risk going on this road. There might be a Rad Scorpion there. I'm not going to risk going to that checkpoint. Oh, uh, now I really hope there's not... Fusion core in there, but if there is, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Alright, let's check out this house, because I'm certain there's like some aid items in there. And normally a random event of some kind. Which could be enemies or could be friendlies. Let's find out. Look, man, I've been thinking about this for a long, long time. Oh no. I know what I'm talking about here. Bullshit. You can't just put something between two pieces of bread and claim it's a sandwich. Does that mean a loaf of bread is technically a uh, bread sandwich? Technically, yes, but you wouldn't eat it all at once like that, so it doesn't matter. How you hold it matters. Talk all you want, man. You put that piece of my lurk meat between two pieces of bread, but it still ain't a sandwich. Well, what the hell would you call it then? Disgusting. That's what. 
Alright, feel free to go off in the comments. What defines a sandwich? I'm not getting involved. I'm a conscientious objector on this whole internet debate. But, oh, there's even a bread box in here. But if, hey, if you in the comments want to argue over what is and isn't a sandwich, go for it. I'll leave those two to the little debate. And I'm just gonna head past all the nasty enemies that I can without engaging them and hope to find another fusion core on the way. Ooh. So over here there's some power armor. It's only T45 so it's not really worth me going for it. Oh I will loot this thing. Thank you. But yeah often terminals will lock behind them some power armor. So this suit I don't need because I already have a full set of T45. That's unlikely to be better. But in the future, oh doggos, uh, in the future it might be worthwhile for me to invest in the hacking skill because it could potentially yield me some better power armor pieces. Um, it's one of those things where I really have to see just how many perks I have to figure out how worthwhile it is, but uh, do feel free to weigh in on the comments, because I'm really uncertain on it. I'm just, I'm just uncertain on a lot of stuff with this run. I specifically made this challenge run because it's like the complete opposite of how I would normally play Fallout 4 survival mode. <laughs> I'm normally super lightweight and using a sniper to shoot enemies from a distance, and this time I'm like, yeah, power armor only. I'll probably throw in some chems as well, which I never take in Fallout. Like, oh, this is... This is such a weird one for me. Although this part of the route is normal, we're gonna punch some rad roaches and take a few items here, including a toy rocket ship. Lovely. Because, yeah, a bunch of rad roaches spawn at this place. There's also a ton of bottles. Uh, most often what I try and use this for is trying to get an early legendary because the legendary system sucks, in my opinion. But one way to kind of exploit it is the fact that low-tier enemies and high-tier enemies can be legendaries. And because it's all completely utter inane randomness, why try and fight a bunch of high-tier legendary enemies when a low-tier legendary enemy could give you just as good an item? So yeah, sometimes the red roaches here will spawn as legendary, and it means you can sometimes just get the most powerful weapon in the game right at the very start by killing a red roach. Or you could get like a knife with extra swing speed. The legendary system is random. I don't like it. Alright, um... You know what? I think this is going to be the place where we call it. We're going to have a little fight here, and I'm pretty certain there's a mattress we can sleep on. Because I could do with wrapping up this episode sooner rather than later. But before we do that, let's unlock this. Lovely. That's it. Nice and easy. Uh, still an antiseptic I'll take. An adhesive, yes. And there's also a whole bunch of mole rats, which we've fought before. Should I it gets? Shouldn't be too difficult. Oh no, I've got parasites. Oh, this is the thing to worry about with mole rats. It's not really the damage of them. The damage of them isn't too bad. The problem is, yeah, you are affected by an illness, take antibiotics to deal with it. The bigger issue is parasites isn't like one of the worst, so I now have to consider whether or not I can handle having parasites. And I'm really not certain. Okay, Child of Atom, your rags don't help me much. I don't want to deal with them, and I'm taking rads here, so let's move away. There are 100% more, uh, more more rats in this area, which I'm going to have to deal with. Uh, little stimulant. The stimulants and stuff. For anyone who plays a fair bit of uh, Fallout 4 survival mode, do you ever take the herbal stimulants and the herbal antimicrobials and stuff? Because I never find myself using them. Like, they're scattered around. A nuke grenade. The There's a nuke grenade and I can't use it. Well, I'm going to take it and sell it, but... 
That's genuinely quite painful. How was just a nuke grenade and it's like, yeah, here's one of the most powerful... One of the most powerful? It might even be the most powerful throwable in the entire game. Oh, and some military grade duct tape, which also isn't going to be that useful. Man, why is the game giving me some amazing loot that is worthless in this challenge run? Or near worthless in this challenge run? That just... That just feels cruel, man. That just genuinely feels kind of cruel. Alright, double ammo box. 0 0.308, not helpful. <sighs> Shotgun shells. Man, that's some of the worst we could get. Like, ideally what we want to see is fusion cores in there. Because sometimes you'll just get, like, four fusion cores just in a single ammo box. And then you're fine in power armor for a while. And it's lovely. But even if we don't get that, what we want is just lots of ammo. So stuff like 0.38 or 0.45 or even fusion cells where you tend to get a lot of it at once. Because then, if they sell for one cap apiece, you're still getting, like, a decent bit of caps from them. Right, there's also, somewhere there's a tripwire which sets off a missile launcher, I think, in this place. But I don't know where it is. And honestly, it's been almost now recording, so I should probably wrap this episode up. And to do so, I'm going to... I'm going to get out of my power armor. It says I'm detected. Well, let's hope there's no more mole rats after me. I'm going to get out of it here. And I'm going to sleep for a bit. I'm not going to worry about the illness just yet. Because if we check, yeah, it requires more food. Honestly, not that terrible. Is the kind of thing I want to cure, but can deal with it for now. I'm probably going to get more tired because I only want to sleep for an hour in this place. Oh, no, why am I taking reds? Why am I taking reds? I thought it was far enough away. Alright. Yep, we're hidden. Let's just sleep for an hour. There we go. Will I get another disease? Oh, parched and tired from a lack of sleep. Of course I am. Still just parasites, but yeah, less endurance. Oh, less of that. But that dropped us a save. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. This has been episode 2 of Fallout 4 Survival Mode Power Armor Only. New episodes up every Friday and Sunday. Please do show this series support. Give it a like. Tell people about it if you want to. Like, shares are great when they happen, but if you can't do that, likes and comments. YouTube is just like, oh, engagement, and that really, really helps with um, just getting this series out there, which ensures it can keep on going. So if you're enjoying, hit that like button, leave a comment. Thank you very much if you do. But even if you just watch through to the end, that's a great help too, and I hope you enjoyed. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Sarge out.